All right, welcome back. Lucidil, the Kingslayer. I had that Kingslayer title on because I had my uh, Kingslayer daggers out when I was assassination spec. The Kingslayers. I didn't realize that those daggers had that name at the time. I was like, oh, cool. I think for Outlaw, we're going to go with the Horde Breaker. Get our pirates. Hello. Start See our missions and check the ones that have already done. Servers just came up after maintenance. Maintenance is a little longer today. Last week it was only uh, an hour or so before I was able to log on for my normal time. Actually, it's about the same today. All right, I finished one of my Rogue Order campaign missions. Get that bonus. And then I got a ticket for Marin. No bonus there. Gotta do these. Now, this is 102. I serve no That's an 87% chance just there. Crew of pirates, 30% success. That's more than enough. We could add even more. No, no bonus rolls on that. So we'll just get the guaranteed 100 and send them away. And that's going to take eight hours. So I got three more of those. So it's like three more days until I'm able to get that finished. 170, 150, 150. Let's go with this one. We want the lowest level person here, which is this 104 guy. We'll get this guy to piggyback, I think. No, no, no. I played 15. Lord Raven Holt. We operate where others cannot. So this is a secondary. From what I've seen, this first one is the priority. I guess it has that little icon border. That's the one that you're really worried about. And then you just get more increased chance if you go with that one. So in order for this to be a complete go, I could probably overpower it with my higher level we guy that has the same kind of bonus. Can't you see I'm busy here? But yeah, no, that's not worth it. No, so both of these require the assassination boss thing. So does this one. So that boss one's pretty important, I guess. Let's talk more we got action. a kick. We got a fan. Don't you see I'm busy here? He's got stealth, but he's too low to matter. Still got negative 1% chance because I'm not 110. This is a dungeon. I'm pretty much making these guys run Halls of Valor for me for a reward, but I can't afford to do it. Yep. Can't use the rest. What does he give me? Three minutes. Summons Lord Jorak Ravenhold to dispatch your foe instantly, dealing damage to your target. 10% of their maximum health reduces damage against bosses. So it's a three minute, like, touch of death. I wonder if he'll get XP if I have him equipped as my ally. Vanessa's nice, I like having her as a companion. But sometimes she's like she she stays in combat, it's kind of annoying. Let's try the cooldown. We operate when And then we'll see cannot. too if uh, he offers if he gets any XP. Vault ticket. Time is money, friend. 
All right, which one are we going to go with today? There's the sparkling set of keys, smoky boots. I got to choose something from this vault and I only get one item. There's a small coin chest. I don't know yet what what's like good to get out of this. Um, nothing there. I don't even remember what I got last time. It looks like I got a choice between those two or this one over here. Keys, boots, or a small coin chest. Let's see. Whichever is the highest. So we'll say the boots. I'm going to do a slash roll. And for this, I'll go ahead and lower my, my banner. We're going to look at the chat here. So, boots, roll. 31. Boots got a 31. Keys? Let's roll for the keys. 44. So, so far it's the keys. And the chest? We'll roll for the chest. 19. So, the RNG Jesus is telling me to pick the keys. And just want to make sure there's nothing else before I make this decision. I think that's it. Alright, so keys it is for 44. Key to the Palace of Lei Shin. It says an ancient key to a secret entrance in the Thunder King Citadel. The Shadow Pen would be interested in this. Oh, I think I know what this is. This is like. And I guess I have another tune that has it. Conquer has this as well. So I just picked a treasure chest thing to go get another treasure chest thing. It's an event. Like you go in and you have a certain time limit and you can loot all the chests you want. And uh, Well, I got grappling hook now. There was stuff I couldn't reach before. Like it'd be up on top of this. And while I'm looting all the chests, I'm trying to figure out how to get on top of that building up there. And I remember not being able to get up there. I'm thinking, man, if I could just get those chests up there, then I would have got like a lot of good things. But never mind, just forget that. I don't want to go all the way out to Lation's Palace right now. So I got to do my world quests. World quests. Salutations work on my nightfall in honor so we'll clear our bags I'm seeing you. we're leveling the outlaw so I'm gonna use these artifacts get a new trait for the dread blades do you know where the guy is that you get three helper followers um yes there are two of them, actually. Where is he? Durzan. Vishnu Allah. Point. And the other is on the dock over there. Farewell. You need something? But this guy requires some progression or story to unlock, I think. See you later. So you'll get pirates and bandits. You're welcome, bro. All 
Alright. This other rogue was like, hey, where do you get your followers? So, it's pointing out to them where the ones that I knew of, at least. Alright. Last time, I was trying to figure out where I'm supposed to get the uh, field kits. Because my medical stuff says I can treat fevers for people in the Broken Isles. If I get three field packs, I can make a treat fever. Now, I don't know if this is something that's purchased or what. I'm going to go visit the first aid trainer. So... Got that. Make sure my bags are really clear because I'm going to start queuing for dungeons, which I should be doing already. And didn't mean to ping that. I don't think I can do anything. Oh, sweet. Class hall reports. It lets me know all my stuff that's cooking. So my artifact research notes will be done in two days and two hours. My lean shank recipes will be ready for pickup in two hours. My weapon smuggler will be ready in five days. Seal of Ravenhold. This is my cooldown. I'm going to put that there. This is a defensive one, so I'm going to kind of put it towards the end. But this is also a DPS increase. Repost. Grants 100% for parry for 10 seconds, and each time you parry an attack, you will repost the target with 21k damage. So, at first I thought this was just a defensive cooldown, but it actually ends up being a defensive or offensive cooldown if you're taking damage. This is a 5 minute cooldown, this is a 3, this is a 2, this is a 3, and this is a 1.5. I like my cooldowns to be in order. I should make those shift, shift F, shift one, shift two, shift three. Those are already bound to switching bars though, I don't know. Continue your adventures in Suramar. Uh, thank you for that. World quest, battlegrounds, skirmishes, pets. Alright, bank. Clear the bags. Did they not reset? What is it all? The server resets dailies, etc. at 10 a.m. Server time. I think the server resets the daily so somebody was asking I just caught the ass end of the conversation but this uh, top DPS hunter says did they not reset and I told him that the server resets dailies and stuff at 10 a.m. server time if I'm not mistaken um, yeah 11 so this monk replied this server resets at 11 server time so it's only 6:30 well met all right bank now all this stuff here i don't need that for sure i don't think i need this virtuoso ink set thing I've been making these Tome of the Tranquil Mines for myself. I wonder if I should be saving up for these codexes and allowing other players to do their thing. But I also have Prophecy Tarot. This is a trinket. Craft a prophecy, craft a prophecy. Dark 